going to start with the NYX Blur Screen SPF 30. This is a chemical sunscreen. It has avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. This is supposed to be a blurring primer, so I think the best way to test this is just to use it on one half of my face. Okay, it's a very white kind of sunscreeny texture. Okay, it does feel a little thick like a blurring primer. Um, you can see on the back of the hand, it goes on white, but it completely shears out. It's completely clear. It is giving a little bit of a glow, which typically blurring primers tend to be more matte. So, I don't know, it's interesting. It smells like sunscreen. It does have a sunscreen smell to it, which is why I don't love chemical sunscreens, but we're trying it for the sake of the video. Um, I'm just gonna apply this on this side of my face. I don't typically use a blurring primer, but we'll see if it does anything. But I tend to take blurring primers up under my eye as well to kind of blur out that area and smooth it out for concealer. So if I'm using a primer that has like blurring properties in it, that is a great hack. It is a little thick. It almost feels like, you know, like Oobleck, not that thick. Like you can touch it, it's a liquid but it has kind of like a, a pasty consistency to it. I don't know if I'm a fan of that texture. Okay, pre-makeup, it has not blurred um, anything. Nothing is blurred, but we'll see how the makeup applies on top of it, but just like to wear alone, no. Okay, next is the Pro Fix Stick Concealers. I just did a video on TikTok uh, comparing this to the Bear With Me Serum Concealer Formula, so I will have that link down below. I use the shade 3 Alabaster. This is the closest match to the shade Fair in the Serum Concealer, so this is what I use, and there are two shades lighter than this and then a bunch of shades deeper than this. Then I thought we could also play with the correctors. I've played with the green one. I have not used the pink one yet, so we're gonna also use these. I'm gonna take the pink one under my eyes, and normally with things that come in a stick, I don't apply them directly to the face, but with this, I will because the formula is so creamy that it blends out completely fine and I, I actually don't have any problems applying it directly to the skin. And then I'm just going to take my finger and blend out that corrector until it's just like a sheer veil over top. So you can see it's corrected, not concealed yet though, but just corrected, neutralized. And that is how well they blend it out just very quickly with a finger. So the formula is extremely creamy and just kind of melts into your skin, which is fantastic. I'm gonna take the green cover, just kind of put it over lightly, the little spots that I have. Vibes. <laughs> I'm also gonna take that on a clean finger and then just tap that over where I want it to be until it is a thin veil over it and it is corrected but not concealed. I definitely used too much on a lot of these spots. You just need a very, very light amount of this corrector. So I'm actually gonna go in with a sponge and pat it out with a sponge. These concealers work fantastic with the sponge. How many times can I say sponge? Um, because they are so creamy, a lot of sticks don't work well with a sponge. However, these ones, because they just melt into the skin, are very, very malleable with a sponge. Okay, and that is everything just slightly corrected. So you can still see the redness through, but there is that kind of green veil over it. So that way, when we go over top with concealer, it's not gonna show through. I'm actually gonna go in with a foundation before we go in with any concealer. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. So I'm just gonna put that on and then I will be right back. Okay, now my foundation is on and you can still see those red spots through, but they are less than you would have before because I just put on like a very, very thin layer of foundation. But especially around my nose, they're completely covered to the point that I don't even need to go in with an additional concealer. But for this class that we do need to go in with an additional concealer, I'm just going to draw it directly on my face. This is shade three alabaster. So I like to put a thin layer of foundation over the face and then only like more coverage in the spots where I, I need it or I want it. And then this is a good like medium, like a true solid medium coverage. So I am going to let them sit and dry down a little bit before I blend them out. So that way we can maximize the coverage that we are getting. And I really think that that pink corrector did such a good job correcting under my eyes and brightening it a little bit that I don't even feel the need to go over it with any concealer. Right? Okay, now I'll let those sit for a couple minutes. I'm just gonna take a little dense brush and just pat them out. I don't wanna let them sit for too long 
because even though it is very malleable and creamy, it is still a stick. It is still a hard cream. So I don't want it to set for too long before I go in. Otherwise it will stay there. So there we are up close. You can see they are a little bit more matte and a little bit more dry than the rest of my makeup, but, but it is a stick. So while it is still very, very malleable, it is still a stick. So it's going to set a lot drier than a liquid typically. Okay, so I did just end up taking a little bit of shade two under my eyes just because I, I just, I wanted a little bit more. And let's just take a little bit on the chin as well to brighten. Vibes. So my thoughts on this concealer are a little bit of a toss up. I like how creamy they are and the coverage that they give, but they are, they set a little bit too matte for my personal preference because I do have dry skin. Not that they really emphasize my dry skin that much. They're just, they're a fantastic concealer, just not my top choice for a concealer. Next is the Buttermelt Bronzers. This is the shade one Buttercup and the shade two all butted up. This is what they look like in the pans. And this is what they look like on the hand. This is shade one uh, Buttercup and this is two all butted up. I will say right off the bat, I am disappointed in these because the promo picks were so pink and cool toned and these are much more of a peachy kind of color. So false advertising, yes. But I'm still playing with them, trying them, seeing how to make them work. Shade one is lighter, but a bit more orange. Shade two is more of like a neutral peachy, but a little bit darker. So I'm gonna do shade one on this side and shade two on this side, just to, cause I'm still playing with them and trying to figure out how to work with them and which one I like. So this is shade one, but a cup. And I learned my lesson the first time. These are extremely pigmented. So I'm literally just like, that might be too much. So I'm going to kind of work that in on the back of my hand first. And then we're gonna go in with it because these, you can go overboard very, very easily with these. The pigmentation is insane. And because that is just from that one little tap and brush off that I did. Like crazy, crazy pigmented. So I, that's definitely been a learning curve to like use as a little as humanly possible. So that is one side with a very light dusting of Buttercup. And then on the other side of the brush, I'm gonna take All Butted Up and do the same thing. Tap, tap all of it off and then go in. And that is a very light dusting of All Butted Up. So you can get them to work very lightly if you are very pale, which is my issue. So you can, if you literally use the tiniest amount and like brush it off on your palm, cause the pigmentation is, it's almost too much, especially for a bronzer. I don't love a crazy pigmented bronzer because you can just go overboard so fast. I like something that I am in control of. So that is one point against these, but I guess because they're so, pigmented and you only need to use a little bit, you are going to get a lot of use out of them. In terms of tones, that first one is definitely a little bit more orange. That second one is giving more of that neutral undertone, which I do like a lot more. So it's pretty dark, but I think that this is going to be the best shade if you're very pale and not that if you're warm toned, this first one might be good, this side over here. But if you're neutral or cool toned, I think shade two with a very, very light hand is going to be the way to go. And they do have a slight sheen to them. You can probably see there is no glitter or no shimmer, but there is a natural sheen to just give them that skin like finish, which I personally really love in a bronzer. Then we have three different kinds of lip products to try the fat oils, the fat oil slick clicks and the duck plump. These are the shades of the fat oils that I have. This is the shade Supermodel. It's like a hot pink with glitter. And then this is the shade Status Update, which is like a ready brown and shears out really nice on the lips. And this is actually my favorite shade to wear. But since I put pink on the cheeks, I will try on the shade Supermodel. It is very hydrating, very moisturizing on the lips. It's a bit of a thicker consistency in the tube, but it thins out a lot on the lip. And it's just like a very nice, thin, but nourishing lip gloss. It's not a lip oil. It's not a lip oil, but it's a very nice gloss. And then this is the shade No Filter Needed in the Fat Oil Slick Click. It's like kind of a sheer rosewood with some glitter. The click on these, very intense. And the shade is beautiful. And these are very sheer. 
The formula is a lot stiffer than the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. Those are very gloopy and messy and get everywhere. These are a lot thinner, a lot stiffer of a stick, so you just have more control. Very even coverage coating across the lips. They feel pretty nice. I do prefer the feel of these. I think these are more hydrating and moisturizing than the sticks. And then we have the Duck Plump. I have never used a lip plumper before and this literally has caution tape on it. It says like caution extreme sensation. Um, so I'm terrified. This is the shade Nude Swings. Very cute. Smells a little peppery, which is scary. This is the color right there. Um, so I'm gonna put this on and then do like a little time lapse to see um, if it does anything. So I'm just gonna put it- oh fuck it, I'll put it on the whole thing. Okay. That's a much lighter color than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be more of like a mauve nude. It's definitely more of like a light pink, still pretty, but I don't think I'll keep wearing this shade. It's a lot lighter and pinker than I thought it was going to be and I just don't love that shade on me. The shade in the bottle is much prettier than how it ends up on the lips. So now um, we wait and see. It's starting to tingle just a tiny bit right now. I probably had it on for like 15, 20 seconds. Okay, the tingle is starting to get stronger now. I think a little bit of it got in my mouth because my tongue is starting to tingle just a little bit. Love that. People were saying that the burn on this was really bad. It's, it's just like a slight tingle. It's really not bad. Unless it gets worse. Tingle is a little bit more intense now, but still like completely, like I'm, I wouldn't be phased by this. It just kind of feels like I ate a buffalo wing. Like only one buffalo wing. Okay, now maybe I've eaten two hot wings, but like completely, completely bearable. People are making this out to be like awful. Okay, it's been like two minutes at this point. I don't think it's gonna get any worse than this. So this is the before. And this is the after. It kind of just feels like I ate like one or two hot wings. Um, do you notice any plumping? I might notice like a little bit. I think, I think it did a little bit of something, but not like anything crazy. And then the last thing that we have to test is the marshmallow setting spray. This is a matte setting spray. So there's a little bit of glow coming through on my face, so we will see if that... It does have a somewhat sweet scent to it. Nothing crazy though. Um, let's see if it will mattify. It's a very intense sprayer. It does smell nice though. It's sweet, but it's not sickly sweet. It feels nice. I don't know how it's gonna wear. I will update that in the description box below how well it wore, but... I don't feel like it mattified. My skin, I feel like it just looks, it didn't make it dewy, but it didn't mattify it at all. But hopefully it keeps my makeup on. We'll see, I'll let you know. Okay, going back through everything that we tried, the blur primer did not blur anything. Absolute pass on this. I don't, I don't find that it blurred. Maybe I just didn't use enough. I don't know, um, but it also smells like sunscreen, which I don't like, so. I don't think I'll keep reaching this. I will probably give this away. The uh, Fix Stick Concealers. I do like these. I do like these a lot. I think I will use them. I think I will use these like a significant amount. So I'm gonna say a win on these, absolutely. I really like them. They're not too drying, they're not too matte and they are very creamy for a stick. So I'm very impressed with that. The shade range is much better than the serum concealer. So I'm gonna give these a win. I think these are worth checking out if you're interested. Bronzers are still up in the air. I do think that the second shade is better than the first shade, but I I still need to keep playing with these because I, when I first tried them, it was a toss up. This is my third time trying them. It's still a toss up. I'm, I can't recommend these with my full chest, but I think that they are, they're, they're good, but they're not a pink bronzer, which is what I was expecting. But for just like a warm toned bronzer, I think that these are not bad. Out of all of the lip products, the lip oils are definitely my favorite. They are the most nourishing, the most comfortable on the lips. It's a beautiful, beautiful lip gloss formula. Um, the Duck Plump was fine. I don't, I don't know if it plumped. It tingled a little bit. It wasn't like extreme. Um, 
but if you like a little bit of a tingly gloss, great. The shade Nude Swings is much lighter on the lips than it is in the component, so just know that. I like these a lot for a stick. I don't always love gloss sticks, um, but this one I think is very even, but it's just not as nourishing as the lip oils. And then the setting spray, I, I can't say that it mattified, um, but this isn't like a use it now and you know how you like it. I will keep you updated um, in the description box below how it wore all day. And that is everything. Um, I hope that this was helpful. Let me know if it was. I'll see you soon. Bye. Just kind of feels like I ate a buffalo wing.